What is going on YouTube? This is Dan Jeffrey with Rocket Stocks. Going to give you guys two trade reviews, two methods of the same exact trade. Gap up, earnings, think about it psychologically, look at the chart, everything makes sense. These are shorts from HE Double Hockey Sticks. So this honestly, this video is going to be quick, but it can't get easier than this, guys. Um... This is where AMD was yesterday. And, you know, we closed down here at 85.30. Now imagine if you were holding shares of AMD and then on earnings, it just explodes to the upside and it opens pretty much right here, just below 89, right? How many dollars is that? That's like a $3.70 dollars 70 cent gain what would you do if you were up three dollars and 70 cents per share or what if you were holding the stock for quite some time and you're now up 10 15 20 dollars a share you'd be selling right well that's exactly what happens massive gap up short all the way down did i catch the whole move excuse me no not at all my job was not to catch the whole move my job was to catch the majority of it coming back into my little cluster of moving averages once they start to catch up and that's exactly what i did so first part of the day opens here it starts to go up and then the moment it started coming back down layer into this thing short going heavy it was about you know 300 shares or so three lots i'll say uh we just start cranking down i add right here we start flushing down and then at this point i just i start scaling out we're putting in this little base well obviously we dropped lower but once we just weren't really going much further down i mean i just captured a two three dollar move on a couple hundred shares it's a pretty quick payday and honestly how many minutes is that well let's just say i was in it for about one minute two four six about an eight minute trade and i blew through my daily profit goal so amd absolute short no brainer just think about it psychologically we're, we're just we're far from the moving averages if you know my style from previous videos this is just ideal too far away too much of a good thing up it's probably going to come back down now this may not work all the time so you still need to make sure you're you're creating your you set your stop losses so for me my stop loss was right above that if it went higher for some random reason, I would take my loss and I would just wait for it to then set up the next short to then try to pull it down again. So that was yesterday. So what was a, a giant move from today? Facebook. Facebook was up like $30, something ridiculous today. Let me pull it up. So Facebook right here, right? Look at this massive, massive move it did from yesterday on earnings, right? We're closed at, we closed yesterday at 307.50. We opened today up at like three, where do you open at? We opened at 330.05. Massive, massive gap up. There's a lot of strength in this one though. Facebook has been on, on a good run and same thing. I just saw how much of a move up this was knowing that people who were holding the shares down here from yesterday are probably taking some profits off and it's going to cause a little bit of a move down high percentage trade it's just it's that simple once again far from the moving averages so same plan this bar opens here it starts going up starts coming back down the moment it started going back down and this bar starts turning red i enter in the short i put my stop above which that's a two dollar range i wouldn't actually risk two dollars i would have really i would have only risked about a dollar on that move because that's a hundred dollars per how many like per lots i have a one lots 100 shares so if i had two lots i'm risking to lose 200 dollars on this to potentially make you know 300 400 500 600 like a two to one three to one type ratio so that's why i wouldn't have risked to the top of that wick i definitely would have risked to the the middle of that so right here entering in short once it starts turning red put a risk about halfway up and then we just start flushing all the way down so I had my had my shares in here. I started scaling out there, scaled out here, and I scaled in, I scaled out one last time 
just as this green bar was taking out these these reds. The, the momentum to the downside was slowing down. So at this point, I knew we're probably going to bounce up and I want to see how high up we were going to bounce because if we couldn't get up too high, that meant we we're probably going to go back down lower. We might try to make a new low. And if that's the case, I'm going to take profits on, on a new low. And when once we started getting near the 20, the trade was more likely going to be done. So what ended up happening, exactly what I just described. We had a nice little bit of a bounce. I actually took this short again right here, especially once this little tail came up and then started coming back down. Took this short. I took some profits at the retest. And then I took another quick entry here and then quickly took some took some profits right into the whole number of 324. Uh, my sell was like 323.96. Like this little wick right there, that's when I got out. Why'd I get out at 324? Honestly, new lows and new highs, they they tend to just fail. They tend to just do these little, uh, little like a little poke through, if you want to say, like a false breakout is, is the technical term. But if this is the new low, it usually comes down and snaps right back up. Or if it was a new high, it shoots up and then breaks right back down. So I was very cautious of that. I was looking at the whole number, 324. It just kind of made sense. We were, we, you know, the 20 was right here at the time. Could we have touched it right away? We could have, but at the same time, we just pulled from 328 down to 324. That's a $4 move. This initial move was from 332 down to 326, which is about a $6 move. So, you know, technically dropping almost $8 between this was a lot. So I took my profits when I had them, called it a day. So it was a couple of shorts right there on, on Facebook, but it was the same exact method. Just look for those gap ups that are just way too much of a good thing. And then psychologically think if I was holding shares, what would I be doing? Probably taking profits, especially on such an explosive move. So look out for those when they happen on the mornings, you know, pay attention to big earning gappers and potentially look for those plays. Are all of them going to work? Nope, they're not. And that's what you have to accept before you enter the trade. So always make sure you have a clear stop loss identified. If you're going to try to, if you're going to try to do these shorts, sometimes it might be a massive gap down. It could start shooting up. So just find your entry, find your stop, honor the stop if it hits it. And if it goes your way, scale it on profits and just do your rules. So hope this video helps. Two trades, two same methods. Can't be easier than this. Android for the Rocket Stocks. If you have any questions, please put in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell notification icon. This is Dan Draft the Rocket Stocks. Hope everyone has a great week.